Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna apply Terrell Owens, T.O. He's, this is my boy, it's my homie right there. And I'm gonna tell you why I said what I said. T.O. is, is, is now telling what, the way it is. He's telling the facts, my brother. He is telling the facts about Colin Kaepernick and put Stephen A. Smith in his place. Now, for those of you who didn't know what's going on, Stephen A. Smith has attacking Colin Kaepernick or what happened in his workout, um, saying that, oh, he, he don't need a job and blah, 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 blah. So what you're about to see, ladies and gentlemen, T.O., Terrell Owens, is calling this man out. And I'm glad he did what he did. I'm glad that Tara Owens put Stephen A. Smith in his place. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video, and I'm going to continue the rest of my commentary. Two black men are up here. In your case, you're defending Colin Kaepernick now. In my case, I've defended Colin Kaepernick on numerous occasions throughout the years. I'm talking about the Mike Wilbons, the James Browns, and everybody in between. Black folks all over the country, all in the media. Everybody's speaking up on behalf of Colin Kaepernick, but Colin Kaepernick. You the one person that don't have anything to say. You step aside while brothers and sisters who know that you were right to want to address police brutality, who know that you were right to want to address racial oppression, who know that you were right when you say that you didn't deserve to be blackballed and you didn't deserve to have your cause politicized. All of us are fighting on behalf of you. But right. you are the one that won't speak up for yourself. Do you right. have a problem with that? Well, I think the thing is, in the black community, like I said, I'm in, I'm in the streets. I, I, I hear what's yes, going on. Yes, you are. Yes, and you the are. the thing is, is, I think, Stephen A., you have a platform. It's okay to disagree, but it was the way you were going about it. It was almost like you were attacking him. And I think the thing with Colin Kaepernick and the way that things shifted right, you know, right at the... the the doorstep of this workout is just the transparency. Um, you alluded to uh, to, the, to the document. Um, as, as that related, I mean, as, as, as I was referring to it with the document, the, the waiver, um, again, like I said, when you insert language into something that's not standard, then obviously you have to take time to review those documents. And like I said, they weren't given adequate time to, to do that. And so to now insert that and then think that he was going to sign it right at the doorfront, then that's that's not a fair you giving him you know if you're going to give him a fair workout then give him a fair workout you know he had he was allowed no well, media access t t he was they were trying to dictate time out, time you know, time. who his receivers were i have this to stop you there i have to stop you there i am on the air right now listening to a hall of famer who i believe has had a multitude of opportunities to highlight unfairness that has been exacted from him did that stop you from accepting the challenge, knowing that you were walking into situations that were flagrantly unfair, that you were operating behind the eight ball at a disadvantage, courtesy of a system and an entity that obviously had a lot of power and influence to compromise whatever your aspirations were. You do it, I do it. There are people that sit up there. You ain't the only one that accused me of attacking him. I would ask you to recall what I said. What I said is that I have been supporting this man. What I didn't support was you sending, not you, meaning him, sending the message that everything has to be ideal and everything has to be fair in order for me to embrace the challenge to acquire what I have been behind the scenes through my camp telling everybody I want. If you don't want to work out, that's fine. If you think it's unfair and you want, and I know Max, you want to get in, I'm going to bring I you do, in. Yeah, yeah. And you want to, if you don't think it's fair, that's fine. And you want to get your lawyer and your lawyer wants to stand up there and say, this waiver is an issue. We are ready to work out, but not until they alter this waiver, et cetera. That's different. But to not do the workout, to change locations, and then to go and give a speech to the media without taking any questions, any inquiry, as to what's really going on, you are leaving others to surmise what the hell happened. Can I, can I answer I don't that think real that's quick? Fair. 
It's Tio, it's mind if I, do you mind if I oh, jump in, Tio? Yes, I, before you do that, but go ahead, what go I want is, is transparency, Stephen A., and that's like, the, like I've done it. I've had incidents throughout, throughout the course of my career, and then there have been times where I've, try, I've gone into interviews where I've done an hour and a half, two hours of an interview, and then they break down and they edit, and then you guys get on, uh, get on the show and there's a panel of people, and then they break down whatever clips that they show. They're not mm -hmm. showing the entire hour and a half or two hours of that of that interview that I've done. So what he wanted was transparency for people to see the full workout, to see the full Colin Kaepernick. Again, you, you mentioned obviously Max is going to get in here. And like I said, I'm in the streets. Max almost seems blacker than you, Stephen A. Oh. <laughs> with 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 with, with what he with with his coming, you know, Tommy, with his commentary. Tommy, 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 with all due respect, my brother. You don't, <laughs> I'm just you, saying, dog. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just I'm saying. Gonna, I'm gonna check you right now. You don't cross. I'm the just line. saying. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Wait a minute. You don't cross the line. First of all, like I said, you, Colin Kaepernick, <laughs> Eric Reed, any of y'all that want to debate me in front of black people and talk about what's best for black people, name the time and place, I'll show up. I don't want to hear, what's the definition of blackness? Is there a definitive definition of blackness? Why are you giving the impression that because I don't march lockstep with every single thing that Colin Kaepernick wants? Okay, excuse me, hold on, wait a minute. I'm not agreeing, wait, wait a minute, I'm not agreeing with everything that Colin Kaepernick has I, done. I, I'm not saying that, but, you, said, but okay. you just sat up there and used an expression. More blacker. Excuse me. I'm from Hollis, Queens, New York City. You ain't the you ain't the only you ain't the only brother out there that's in the streets. I'm in the streets well, every day. I get it. And a, a matter. Of, so let's be very clear. And you damn well know that's the truth. And so my point to you is this. Again, I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm not going to go that route. But based on just what you just said, this is supposedly Stephen A. and T. O. Going at one another. Did you know that I invited Colin Kaepernick to give him this platform for the entire two hours? I said, you can edit the damn show. You can have it live. We can talk wherever you want to talk. The floor is yours. I also gave that invitation to Eric Reed. I know people at other networks that has given Colin Kaepernick that same thing. They disagreed with him to some degree. Are you questioning their blackness too? Come on, man. That, there's certain things that's like crossing said, the line. Dude, that's that. I mean, you're taking it as disrespect. There's no disrespect. There's no disrespect just, to that. No, not a, dude. It's tongue in cheek, but at the same time, like I said, like I said, I'm in the streets. Like I said, I hear and what's going I. on. And like, as I said, like I said, you don't have to agree. I don't totally agree with some of the things that I as I te as I texted you the other day. He could have articulated to or, or expressed his thoughts better than he did in the interview. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see what T.O. did to Stephen A. Smith? On the air, make him look like an idiot. See, someone here put him in his place. You know, and, I, and that's what I'm saying. I'm glad that somebody has said something to Stephen A. Give him the business. And that's exactly what Tara Owens has done. He gives Stephen A. the business. See, this is why I say, ladies and gentlemen, that you, when you go on, when you go on shows like First Take, you, and see, Stephen A. had the audacity. Talking about, I invited... Colin Kaepernick coming on the show so many times that he. First of all, you've been you've been criticism of Colin Kaepernick since day one. Let's let's let's, let's keep it honest. You, I mean, I guess when you earn your eight million dollars on ESPN, you will talk stuff like that. You will be coonish to say something like that, right? So, and then on top of that, you're mad. You it seems to me that you're pissed off. Really, you pissed off because To. Just tell the tell the truth, and you got butt hurt by it. See, that's what I said. Max Kellerman, you know what? I, I mean him. I mean one thing about Max Kellerman, I normally uh, dis I normally disagree on stuff what he says, but I'm gonna tell you like this: Max Kellerman, for the I mean, as a white guy, as a white sports and analyst. He's tell the truth about what happened with Colin Kaepernick in the NFL, and Stephen A. tried to try to talk him t t talk in front of him, right? So now all of a sudden you got Terrell Owens 
who's been in the game for a year. He was a Hall of Famer. And he knows what's going on or what the NFL is doing to Cap. He knows what's going on. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that T.O. said exactly what he said. Because at the end of the day, you basically trying to smear um, Colin Kaepernick's name and did not even know what the hell is going on. And all of a sudden, the, it, it took Tara Owens to say exactly what he said, say what Max Kellerman said for days about what happened when at the workout, or was supposed to be the workout. So the thing of it is, is that Stephen A. Smith got his $8 million um, contract from ESPN and thinking he can just, he can talk, well, uh, Colin Kaepernick, basically, you know, he don't, he don't want to play football and he don't want to do this and he don't want to do that. And Colin Kaepernick even shouldn't even, shouldn't even, he should, should have even been in the league. That's exactly what he said. And now, and now since he was butt hurt by T.O., T.O. just straight destroyed him. That's why you see me laughing when he got the, when he was interviewing Stephen A. Oh, oh, so Stephen A said, well, this is about, this, this is basically about Stephen A. Smith versus Tara Owens now, huh? You, but see, Tara Owens tell the truth, though. Max Kellerman told the truth. Even though he's a white guy, he told the truth. And you know, really what Malcolm X says best, he said, it don't matter if you're a Democrat and Republican. As long as he speaks the truth, I'm with them. So now, Stephen A., you got your butthole, your butt hurting. You got hook winged because you're thinking that bringing T.O. on the show, he may agree with you on how Colin Kaepernick did to the NFL. You're thinking you can get away with that, and it backfired on your face. And T.O. himself just said he's, he's, he's in the streets. He knows what's up. So, and guess what? He's a Hall of Famer. So, you know what? This is why, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I'm I'm happy. I'm so I'm so I'm so glad that somebody put Stephen A. Smith in his place, put his eight million dollar ass in his place. Because the thing of it is, we heard Max Kellerman said something. Which is the truth of what happened and Stephen A talking over Max Kellerman. You have everybody talk over and people try to tell everybody what happened between Tia, I mean, excuse me, between Colin Kaepernick and the NFL and how they treated Colin Kaepernick. How they lied, how they forced Colin Kaepernick for this workout from the beginning. And then all of a sudden, you know, Stephen A. with his $8 million bonus from ESPN want to talk down on Colin Kaepernick. And yet, oh, I defended Colin Kaepernick. I did this. And you, you didn't do a damn thing but criticizing him. So, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe. And, T.O., you have my respect, my brother. After this, you got my respect because I'm glad somebody put this man, put Stephen A. Coon's... Smith in his place. Let me know what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Insight and off. Deuces.